Hello everyone, it's Megan from KenHub, and welcome to our tutorial on the lingual papillae. During this tutorial, we'll go over the anatomy and function of the different structures we can see in this image. So some of these structures include the filiform papillae, the valate papillae, the fungiform papillae, the taste buds, the lingual tonsil, and some associated glandular tissue. The only papillae we can't see in this image are the foliate papillae. However, they're located on the sides of the tongue, and we're going to go through them later on in this tutorial. So to start with, let me give you a bit of an introduction on the lingual papillae. The lingual papillae are located on the dorsum, or the upper surface of the tongue, which we can see here. They are only located on the pre-sulcal part of the tongue, which is the part of the tongue anterior to the sulcus terminalis. The sulcus terminalis is this V-shaped groove highlighted in green, and it separates the anterior two-thirds of the tongue from the posterior third. The dorsum of the tongue is covered by mucosa, and the lingual papillae are essentially projections of this mucosa that gives the tongue its rough surface. So here we can see the sulcus terminalis with the valate papillae sitting anterior to it. The sulcus terminalis divides the root of the tongue from the body of the tongue. There are four types of lingual papillae. The filiform papillae, the fungiform papillae, the foliate papillae, and the valate papillae. All of these papillae bear taste buds except from the filiform papillae, which we're going to discuss first. So we're going to have a closer look at the filiform papillae by looking at this microscopic image of the tongue. The filiform papillae are these cone-shaped projections here, but they can also take a cylindrical shape. They cover most of the pre area of the dorsum of the tongue and are the most numerous of the lingual papillae. The main function of the filiform papillae is to increase the friction between food and the tongue and facilitate movement of particles by the tongue. As stated previously, these papillae don't contain taste buds, therefore they don't participate in taste perception. So now let's look at the fungiform papillae. The fungiform papillae are more sparse than the filiform papillae and are larger and rounded in shape. In fact, their name relates to their mushroom-like shape that you can see here. They are mostly found on the tip and the sides of the tongue and contain taste buds on their upper surface. The third type of papillae we will look at today are the foliate papillae. The foliate papillae are vertical folds that are located bilaterally on the sides of the tongue near the sulcus terminalis. They can be described as leaf-like ridges of mucosa, and they contain numerous taste buds. The foliate papillae are not very abundant in the human tongue. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.